Hello, YouTube, Posey here. Welcome to Animcast. I'm here today with my first guest, Mont27P from Black Plasma Studios. You can say hello now, Mont. I was just waving, but hello. Hello. You can't, they can't see you waving. Wait, no. <laughs> you said not to interrupt. Okay, continue. I might do like an, like an animation in Blender where your skin is waving, and then they'll know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks for showing up, man. I really appreciate it. It's honestly kind of an honor to be, like, in a call with you right now. Because I really, I really admire, like, the work you do, the animations you do. It's insane stuff. Thank you. I appreciate the reactions and yeah. all the stuff you've um, to the community. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do more of that. Because, um, my quad master just finished up. I have a lot more free time to kill now. I haven't reacted to, um... I have not reacted to uh, the uh, Knights of Ardonia episode yet for Songs of War. I actually haven't even reacted to the Helios episode, which was long ago. That's way overdue. Um, but oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that soon. So uh, I think the last re reaction I did was to um, Cyber Heist. Off topic, but Cyber Heist is really awesome. Mm, it is. Yes. All right, so I actually didn't write down any questions, so because I oh. want this to be more of a casual <laughs> thing, so I'm just going to ask okay. random questions that come to my mind. So, um, you've been animating for uh four years now, almost five. I, think so. I forget exactly how long. Because I I think I... the first yeah I think the first animations on your channel were from 2017, right? I believe so. I'll actually quickly look at my channel. The first video I recall ever using Blender for um, was a weird test thing. I literally just did with a cube, and I just recorded the computer with my... Oh, that's iPad. how every Blender um, user starts. <laughs> yeah, that's cube. how we all start. Um, yep. So that was my first one. That would have been 2017, I presume. I can have a so look yeah, like quickly. Four years, maybe four going on five, we would say. I th yeah, I think it would be five. At this and you've point. been at Black Plasma for like two years two. now? Two and a bit now, so two and yeah. about a month. It was literally the first week of 2020. That's that crazy. Applied. Didn't you like a? Didn't you get in with a with a render? Uh, no, no. The, or I sent am I getting examples. my facts wrong? No, I ended up being um, I ended up putting together a kind of like weird show reel where I kind of talked about things on a show example. I talk about uh, things showed examples, so I think uh, I even remember I looking back at chat when I applied and everyone's like, everything's too formal. I was like, yeah. So I said, what, what, I'm oh, sorry. I, I should like finish there, but, um, what, what necessarily inspired you to start animating at that time around 2017? What? Mm, it probably would have been BPS back then. Oh yeah. Had you watched BPS by that point? Yeah. I think when I first found BPS, it was around, I think 20 ways to die, maybe Bulking Dead era, maybe a little bit before then. I think that was uh, yeah, basically so like kind of just late 2016. Yeah, so it would have been good like four or five years ago, maybe longer at this point. Um, so they're and, the ones who kind of inspired you to like to do animation, right? Yeah, I don't know what specifically inspired me. Maybe it was just like now these days, it's the freedom to essentially create whatever you want. But back then, I'm not that sure is, if it was that like, is the dream. Thing or, um yeah you would say they're like they were like a huge part of it though like what inspired you oh yeah definitely i think there were, there were probably a few other creators like i think i still used to watch a lot of like element animation blue monkey and stuff um slam cow pretty big probably yeah, even slam cow i think yeah um, slam -a -cow a big part element animation enemies. was great man yeah oh 100 villager news yeah. is classic i know yeah so um good old um yeah, what was the first BPS video you actually watched? Do you even remember this? It's, yeah, I think it was either... I actually don't. For some reason, the first animation that I think... I don't think it was by BPS, I think it was recommended. Um, but I remember watching some weird, like, Herobrine animation where I was in this, like, massive hall and there was, like, a weird fight. And for some reason, I thought that was theirs, but it wasn't. But I think that, that... what happened... Is I was um, watching an animation and I got recommended by something from BPS. I don't. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I know but, the first one I watched was uh Sky Wars Mega back in 2016 when it came out. That was okay, the first yeah, BPS animation I've seen. Um, okay. I actually, I, I literally just, 
I watched it once and I thought it was cool, and then I didn't watch anything else they made. And then I just stayed <laughs> away from guys. BPS until 2019. Three whole years. I, mi I missed out on a lot, man. But, you know, I'm glad I got back into the community because oh, yeah, yeah, it's been one back. of the best experiences. Um, I've actually met, like, most of my friends from this community. Um, and I, don't, I should probably not make this about myself, but, you know, I'm just Thank saying. You. The community, it's really good. Um, it's not perfect. You'll always find there are some flaws, some yeah, less than desirable always, people, but yes. it's fine. I, I, I quite enjoyed my time in the community, and I still do. And thank you for, honestly, yeah, thank you for, um, I mean, just showing your gratitude for uh, all, all I've done, the reactions. I personally don't think I've done a lot, but, you know, whatever I can. Oh yeah, appreciate that. I mean, if anything, I've been slack with reactions as of late, so maybe don't <laughs> thank me. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna think of another question I can ask. Um, so, for Blender, um, do you use the IK or the FK arms, usually? Because I know that's, like, a big distinction for, uh, for, like, character animation. Right, yeah. It really will depend. 99% of the time I use FK. For anything that is grabbing something, I'll use IK, but everything else is always Yeah, FK. that's... I agree with that. Um, I usually use FK as well. I mean, I, I say that, but I haven't animated anything since, like, October. <laughs> and even then, it was a short yeah. clip I didn't finish, so... But yeah, going back to uh, what you said about being inspired by BBS, I'm sorry, continue? Well, I was going to say, it, it can, it's very visible when someone uses um, IK arm animation. Yeah, because the arms can just, they can just glitch out, yeah. and it's really, it's yeah, really easy snappy. to fall into that problem. You don't want snappy limbs. Absolutely it's not. Snappy. Legs are fine, but no, not the arms. Not the arms. So, um, do, you, do you enjoy working at BPS now? Do you think there's a good work environment at BPS? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I won't talk too much about super specifics on that, since, like, I'm just representing myself and Yeah, just, like, them, generally, but, like, do, you, do you think it's, like, a positive working environment? Do you think, like, the company treats its employees... Well, I, I, I shouldn't even really say employees, because, like, yeah, cause we're the animators are, are already, like, really high up there. Yeah, but, like, like, we're contract yeah, workers, not employees, per It's se, a but... really, like, I know it's, like, a really, f like, creative freedom-oriented, uh, oriented studio and um um do you think that's a fair assessment to make do you think do you think this is like a really good studio to be animating at in the sense that you get a bunch of creative freedom and can just really do whatever you want i would say so the main struggle at times can just be like keeping up that motivation to stick with like deadlines that's like if you true. fall behind it can become like quite stressful i guess that's the same for anything um they do specific. let you take breaks right because i know skyfall did well, in that case, yes, you can step away, but there's other things um, in the contract that talk about that stuff, which I can't really go over. But, like, you can obviously take weekends off if you want. It, it's it's written in a way where you can take breaks where you want. It's just that like you have to kind of write that into um, your kind of like, yeah, milestones. Yeah, but, like, yeah, it's, like, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a company that, it's a small company. It's a company that, like, respects, that respects the people who work at it, who do work for it. And, like, yeah. its policies are all, like, in favor of the people who work there, which is really refreshing to see because a lot of, like, big animation studios these days don't really operate under the same principles. Um, I feel like Black Plasma kind of, like, stands on its own in that regard, that it's way more, like, creative freedom oriented because, from my experience, a lot of studios just have this system where, like, they assign workers, who, the animators who work there, to, like, do a specific shot and then just tell them to do it. And they don't really get freedom on what they do. They just they just do whatever they're told to do for like to be paid and stuff. But I feel like with Black Plasma, it's definitely it's not the same because they let you come up with the stories for your animations. They let you do all the technical stuff. They'll occasionally check in on you, but you know, you have 99% total creative freedom to do what you want and you reap all the benefits of that video's success on YouTube. So it it does seem like a great deal to have. Relatively, yeah. Like it's it's still very collaborative. Like you can't come on and do something so wildly different that like oh that that's not going to fit on the channel. Yeah, that's like, true. We still, we'll There's still like a brand. 
but like yeah. it's collaborative in the sense that like the people who work there will help each other not like put each other down you know what i'm saying unless it's sir thomas <laughs> okay sorry thomas. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah but, we all like, have a feeling around in the nobody's in the gonna world. So. And your friend, you you consider yourself friends with all of the people who work there, like Sam and Thomas and Skyfall, and um, is Knight Knight's coming back in, right? Yeah, I mean, I won't talk too much about that, but yeah, I think around. he is. He's definitely it's definitely been talked about, but yeah, let's not get into that. Um, who else? Am I- oh, is David still like active in management? It's gonna be this year a lot more, but like again, I, I can't talk too much about that stuff. But it yeah. is cool. Uh, last yeah, I'm year, sorry, I really I should mention... like. I should probably no, stop no, uh, prying into that. So uh, yeah, what last you year say? was a very. I was going to say last year was quite a very slow year. I think for most of us, like there still are not negatives necessarily of the studio, but each of us have had our like own kind of problem where you can get in a, a bad kind of like mental state or have problems pop up that can slow development. Which overall yeah, I mean, can get a little tiring. it's gonna happen, you know. It's it's unavoidable. Yeah. Like, it is unavoidable when you're working on such massive projects. Like me personally, although I've dabbled in animation, I just I've never amassed the motivation to make something like that. Like, how mm. you can even do that is insane to me. As a as a single person, how you can upload something like uh, Mineshaft or Manhunt or did I? I don't even think I I recorded a reaction to Manhunt. I just watched it, but. It's really good. I like that one a lot. Um, and player versus piglin, and you know all that stuff. I'm wondering how can you do that on your own? Like, how can you even have the will to do such a thing? And I imagine I it's know. probably not easy, sure but can. I imagine it's probably not easy. But still, to complete something like that to even like have it be seen by millions of people too. It like it must feel. Does it feel accomplishing to you? Like, do you feel accomplished? It it does, like, it can be a little weird to talk about, like, um, like, I imagine it's a, I'm, I'm not I imagine it's a weird feeling, to, but, like, yeah, there is nothing wrong with, like, taking pride in your work to a limited degree, as yeah, long well, as you're not, like, arrogant. Yeah, you don't want a massive ego about it. Like, I'm That's someone true. who, like, I like to get my work recognized, and I like that appreciation, but, like, I mean, it's millions it of views. The top, it's, like, yeah. it's insane. Like, I, yeah, of course. The, the only videos I've ever uploaded that came close to that were, like, memes that I put zero effort into. And I'm mad because the YouTube algorithm is terrible. Because all the videos I do want to get popular just, like, sit at 100 views tops. And then, like, these random memes from, like, 2017 just skyrocket to, like, 500k. It's so cringe. It's terrible. Yep, thank you, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube just fantastically run site. Just perfect management, <laughs> perfect algorithm. Anyway, um, on to the next question. I just came up with this when we were talking. Um, do you have a favorite of the animations you've made for BPS? Mm. I feel like I already know your answer, but I'm going to ask you anyway. If I could... Oh, actually, that is a little more difficult. I was going to say if I could include the one I'm working on now, I'd probably say the one now, even though there's a, a few things in it that I'm like, eh, I wish I could have developed that more. But outside of that, I would have said probably speedrun. Ah, like, yeah, speed runs great. Yeah, one being a much longer one, but it was it was something that plays with like different themes and stuff that I I do really enjoy. Like I I had a lot of fun run. with that too. Like, and I'm not even someone who really cares about like dream honestly, but yeah, I still yeah, had a lot of fun. Yeah, and I ha- but I had a lot of fun with that because like it's cool to see like because although it is like one could argue it's like it's hopping on a on a big trend, but I don't think it is. I think it's more of like. It's not like, I've, I've seen studios that hop on trends, and it's very obvious that they're hopping on trends, and they're just doing it for the views. With speedrun, though, I think I could see a lot of passion in that. I didn't, I never once got the impression that you were including Dream in speedrun for views. I never got that impression. I would not want to do that. <laughs> if I hated Dream, yeah. I would not use them. <laughs> That's true. I kind of to use stuff that I don't like. <laughs> Animation is just one of those things. There will be people who will animate things just for the trend, but like, that's I, true. I would just hate myself if I did that. Like, I'm not going to spend months and months on a project that I don't even like. Um, that's that's definitely yeah, I mean, true. I could call out so many people right now, but I don't like throwing shade. <laughs> that's fine. But, yeah. Uh, I, I can mean, call out a lot of people. I to talk about, sure yeah, enough. Dream is just a whole other load of... Yeah, just that a whole is. other, like, topic that, honestly, probably shouldn't be talked about here. Definitely not. 
Um, so, um, next question. So, how do you feel about, like, criticism that has been levied towards, um, not you specifically, but, like, the people you work with, with VPS? Because I have noticed this take, like, I keep seeing this take ever since 2020. It's that the BPS rig looks bad compared to other animation studios that have, like, more detail. And I keep seeing that take. And I get annoyed because the rig has actually improved since 2019 dramatically, and mostly thanks to you, because you've been experimenting with it and, like, adding all the teeth and stuff. So the take of, like, oh, the BPS rig, it, it's so outdated, it, it's so bad, it just reeks of... It just gives me the impression that people who say that haven't watched a BPS video since at least 2019, because the rig has, in fact, improved. And, I mean, they're comparing it to stuff like Enchanted Mob or Examination, which, while they do have more detailed rigs, I still don't really think... I, st I still don't really see the BPS rig being bad, by any means. It just feels... I don't know. I don't... I can't really offer much of an opinion, because I've, I've heard both sides of the argument, and it's a really... It's a really tough one, to be honest, because I couldn't tell for sure if it's a valid criticism or if it's just, you know, mean spirits. Because everyone I've... Most people I've heard this take from um, are people who have been extremely toxic. Like, I was on a once where, like, there was just toxicity everywhere, and I got hated on for a ton of stuff, a lot of the opinions I held. But on the other hand, there's a couple people who said that take who are genuinely really friendly people. And just have happen to hold that opinion. So, um, I'll just stop rambling now. What would you say about this whole <laughs> okay. thing? I mean, it is an interesting. T I haven't actually seen it much recently, although I I have seen it in the past. I think I was in um examinations server at one point. I think I still am there. I actually don't know. Um, but I did see a bit there, like oh, BPS is like trash kind of stuff. Like yeah, that's the thing. Like <laughs> the majority of. Well, the thing is, when you have a Minecraft animation community, like, no matter who you are, the majority of your fans are going to be, like, young children who are more mm. prone to toxicity than, like, mature, like, grown-ups. Although, I will say, you could be a grown-up and definitely still be toxic. I've seen that before. But, like, the majority of kids, they're really impressionable, and they want to defend, like, their favorite creators at, like, all costs. And we see that often every single day. So... Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people like that on the Zamination server, on the Enchanted Mob server. And um, it's actually gotten a lot worse over time. Um, but, you know, Zamination and Enchanted Mob, whole other can of worms. But yeah, I was just wondering well, like, what your opinion would be. Anymore. Yeah, like, it, it has its flaws in a way, but I feel like certain people may miss certain bits of the context. Like, for me, I love animating faces, and that's something that I've tried to improve over time. Yeah, and the I actually... The rig hasn't even changed. Like, it's funny, you think the rig hasn't changed, apart from me You've been experimenting people. with it, though. You have been making yeah. it look better in your animations than it has ever before. Well, that's and, because um, I think most of us at BPS have never really played with a face rig. We've kind of had that attitude where, oh, we're more yeah, storytellers, I mean, and we're yeah. just going to tell the story. It's great but, that you're, like, experimenting with it, though, and kind of, like, pushing the boundaries, because... It does look a lot better in your animations, in my opinion. It does look a lot like a bit of an improvement. And um, about what you said earlier, like, people miss the context, I definitely agree with that, because when I was on the Minimator server, and I, like, got into a debate with someone over BPS, and they were saying, oh, you, you can't even tell the emotions these characters are feeling, and then post, like, a random screenshot. It's actually from your animation, Mineshaft. And it's just a random oh, no. screenshot of, like, Steve's face. And then post something that was either made by Enchanted Mob or Examination. And it was, like, a really over-the-top facial expression. And he said, see, in this first one, you can't tell what emotion he's supposed to be. But in the second one, you can definitely tell. And I'm sitting there like, no, I can't tell. This crazy over-the-top facial expression, I cannot tell what emotion this is, supposed, this is supposed to be. Because you didn't provide the context. That's the problem here. It's not either of the rigs, it's the fact that there is no context to this screenshot. If you knew the context between either of these screenshots, you'd 100% know what the character is feeling. And that's what bothers me. Because they're just really rep misrepresenting things, you know? I don't fully necessarily dis disagree with what the other person was saying, though. Because, like, one, it is No, more I mean, that is Mind true. It is objectively is more expressive, um, the way right. Examination and, and Enchanted Mob does it. But it, it also, it's also a, a matter of style. And I feel like 
demanding a studio yeah. to like cave to the style you want is incredibly toxic behavior. If you like that style, just stick with the people who do it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, I, that's the other thing that I was going to talk about with context is it is the style we do try to stick closer to what is the Minecraft style. It, technically, even BPS is, is a stylized style because it's not Minecraft. Like we could stick to just full on pixelized faces. Like I've gone down the yeah, you could because Element Minecraft. Animation did that at one point, right? I think so. Yeah, but like yeah. it's like I like their style, but like I don't know. The, the I whole, personally whole... think it's great. I love the BPS style. I've always loved it. I I re I respect you disagree with me, but I really do love it. And I personally haven't really seen a good reason not to like it because even if it didn't excel particularly in the visual front, and it does because of the lighting and stuff, and like the animation is still mostly smooth. But really, the storytelling the storytelling is great. Like stuff like Worlds Apart, Last Gift, which is honestly a really underrated one, one of my favorites. Um, it's like. It's literally like watching a Pixar short, but it's a Minecraft animation. Like, I'm not joking. It's it's on that level. I'm telling you. Like, I would say that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I that mean, I personally love the style. Name. It's 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 a matter of style at the end of the day. Like, people can like what they want, but I just feel like attacking people for liking what they want is also toxic. So, I'm still a little upset at the, at how I was treated on that Discord server. But, you know, the Minimator server was, like, terribly managed. They didn't, they didn't have, like, any rules. You could openly discuss, like, insane politics there. It, it, was, it was terrible. But, you know, <laughs> discussion for another day. It was, like, the opposite of the BPS server, where everything is, like, heavily regulated. You can't even, like, say a swear word. <laughs> you know? Yeah, fair enough. Like the anti-BPS I mean, yeah, the server. The day, it, is, it is a style choice. Like, I do like, like, the style of Zamination stuff again. Oh, oh, it is, words, it does like, look really, it does look really good. Like, even yeah, now that they're, like, doing trendy stuff exclusively, it's just like, Mmm, Sasusamogus Friday Night Funkin', you know? It still looks good. Like, the animators are still putting in a lot of work, and I respect that. You know? To my peak. Sorry, PC is locked out for. Oh yeah, that was that was that was actually um obviously you know Zamination hired your uh, internet oh, no. provider to sabotage like, this meeting. <laughs> There's gonna be a war starting. Rally the fans. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm gonna join the BPS SMP and start a war. Oh yeah, that's part of the lore now. Anyway, um, my next question, I suppose. Um, do you have any, like, favorite studio that isn't BPS? Like, actually, no, better question. Um, do you, are you a fan of animated movies? Like, Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, oh, that yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, can you give me like some lists of your favorites? Aside from Marvel, that's obviously not animated, but, uh, like, like favorite studios or, like, favorite movies? Uh, favorite individual movies, because I like discussing movies. I like most studios just in general, but in terms of specific movies, I'm probably not going to remember them all. Wally's a good one. I watched that again recently. Wally, -E, yeah. Is a good one. I yeah, these are good choices for sure. Times. Animated musicals are fun. I don't really watch a lot of musicals. Um, I, I, I'm not really a big musical guy, but I don't mind them. Yeah, I've watched a couple. I, I like animated ones. Um, another one recently animated was Encanto. Musical. That was a really good movie. Encanto, yeah. Um, Fade says that's good as well. I think. I know, I got he had that as his uh, status. He yeah, I've heard that. good things from Encanto all around. I'm I'm gonna get around to watching that too. Um, have you oh, seen yeah. Mitchell's yeah. versus the Machines? Because that's a personal have, favorite of mine. Yeah, that was a good one. I might have. That was actually like one of my favorite movies. Um, in general, favorite animated movies for sure. Up mm -hmm. there. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones now. Songs of War, of course. Even though it's ah, oh, yeah, Songs of War. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Ah, I like most man. Disney and Pixar stuff, so like three D animated. Hey, Mon, what's but... Songs of War? I've never heard of that before. Now, well, it's by Black Plasma. You should go check it out. Oh no I way! I'm gonna check that out right now. I I haven't spent the last two years being a fan of that and being in the community or anything. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What other ones can I think of? Um, I like Coco. That's great. It's a good, good one. Pixar movie. Um. Uh, let me, I'm thinking of a bit more. Uh, I, mean, I haven't watched like these ones in ages, but I know that How to Train Your Dragon and Kung Fu Panda are, like, all bangers. 
I should really get yeah, around like... to watching those again. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, so animated movies, that's always fun. Um I feel like I feel like that's probably like another big source of inspiration for animators, because like the idea that one day you could be working on something like that. And I feel like you're already well off with BPS, but you know, you could always strive to you could always strive to like you know keep on moving forward, you know. Just it's kind of a, it's a good mindset to have, but oh man, do you I mean, actually? Choice. This is another question. Now that you mentioned that, do you think that Blender is going to become more of an industry standard project in the future, like replacing stuff like Maya because it's been really developed in the, um over the last like couple decades, um and it I is one of the most accessible. I know that like, corporations yeah, yeah. mainly use like Maya, but uh, Blender is free, so that means anyone can access it. My god, like, Blender is probably one of, like, the best um, animation softwares. Not just because it is really good in, like, how you can use it, but it's also just fantastic, the fact that it's free. Like, mm. the Blender Foundation is just incredibly generous to people who want to be creative, and I think that's very respectable. Yeah, that is a good thing about it. Um, but I, I, I would say so. Like, it's been open source for, well, really, forever. Yeah, I and think like, it's like I a market it's... that is going to be capitalized on pretty short, shortly. Yeah, that's... and it has like the biggest community, I'm pretty sure. So it has that development there. And it's already progressed super fast the past few years. And I've years, seen, like... yeah, I've seen yeah. tons of Blender short films that are like, like animated movie quality, like big studio stuff. It's insane. Yeah. Like the stuff you can make with that program, it's incredible and honestly really inspiring. Um, I mm. have not really done a lot of animation. I, I, I'm technically an animator. I, I like to call myself that, but I haven't animated in a long time, mainly just because I've been busy. I haven't had much motivation. But I'm mm. I'm always going to try to make... I'm going to make some more attempts to get back into it. And BPS has always been an inspiration. Well, it has, it has since 2019, at least. It's been a huge inspiration for me. And your work, too, um, has also been an inspiration for me. So... I'm going to try and, well, now, my, my, now that my quad's over, you know, my quad mester, I'm going to have a bit more time, maybe get into animating again, even if at a minimal level. I might animate some segments for this, um, this podcast, even. That might be fine. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Cool. But, uh, yeah, um, I really find, I really find the stuff you do inspiring, because, um, if you, if I think about it, you were just like me back in 2017, weren't you? Like, you were looking up to these big creators like BPS, and you were trying out animating early on, and you were just doing all these little blender tests, and then gradually you grew to become, like, a, a much, like, better animator, and you did, like, all these, like, full animations, and then you got into BPS, which has also been, like, that's been a dream of mine for a while. And I feel like if you, who, were, who was in my position at one point, could do it, then I can also do it. And uh, if in if in a couple more years I'm actually sitting among you, that would be that would be fantastic. <laughs> this conversation would age well for sure. I mean, you never know. But yes, I, I was at the same position. Happen. I'm still just an ordinary person that you know, I was inspired. I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. And like, technically, yeah, anyone can get in. But obviously, and you not succeeded. Yeah. yeah, no, not it's everyone, an, but anyone, you know, everyone situation. I like, think if you have the right drive, if you have the right yeah I you know i i don't believe that talent is like inherently tied to one person i think it's something you can gain by experience and by passion mm -hmm. i don't think you're born yeah. with talent for anything i know some people believe that but it just the belief doesn't check out for me i think that if you have the right drive the right motivation the right passion for something you can achieve you can achieve that thing you can achieve that talent it's achievable it is not just something you come with or you don't come with so, mm. yeah. Um, do you ever feel like do you ever feel like you're under pressure from like the amount of attention you've been receiving since you got into BPS? Because your channel has blown up a decent amount from like three thousand subs to like thirty five thousand subs since oh, yeah, you joined. Yeah, my first one, right? And that's like an explosion of like ten times the amount of subs. I would kill for that. I would kill for that. Give me some of those, <laughs> man. Uh, probably not, actually. I haven't paid. I've try I'm trying to keep content. That's coming wise. Patiently. But yeah. like I would say don't really don't focus on it. Don't, don't focus on like the popularity you receive. I mean do focus on it a bit, but like don't concern yourself with that all the time or else it's just gonna become really stressful. Like you can't be thinking right, about what yeah. each and every individual is thinking about you at all times. 
that's always a good motto to live by, I would say. Like, if I got yeah. popular, I, w I would hopefully not be concerned with every individual's thoughts about me, every, like, and view counts, because I know it's very easy to let view counts get to your head and make, and, like, it lowers your self-worth if you don't have enough at one point. And uh, mm -hmm. that's, it's definitely, like, a dangerous sort of uh, mind space to get into. So I would say, yeah, just um, just create what you want to create and uh, and hope it works out and um, just you know, enjoy the, enjoy the views it gets. Um, sometimes it's not going to work out and that's okay. Just keep pushing forward. Keep, keep working towards making what you like because uh, it doesn't always go well, but you know, you can always persevere. You can always come out on top again. If you fail, just, you know, pick yourself up and try again. Well, I mean, that's not true in all circumstances, but I think it is in this one. Like if you release mm -hmm. a video and it doesn't do well, then you can just try again with another video and on and on until, you know, eventually one does well. And Obviously, that's not really much of a concern for you because, like, every BPS video gets at least a million views, and that's quite a lot of exposure. But just, I suppose, general advice for every creator. And with that in mind, um, um, some more, another question I suppose I should ask. Um, if you had to offer any advice to um, new animators who are just starting out and uh, want to make, like, sort of a, not really a career, but like a side hobby out of their passion for animation... Would you offer them any specific advice on um, how to do that properly? Um, and if so, what advice would that be? I would say it's kind of a difficult question in a lot of ways. Yeah, because it's, it's very true. specific to like what your schedule is already like, what you like as a person. Like for me, I started animation just as a hobby, and I did it in my spare time. I was still in school. I think by the time at least I started, I would have been like early high school, and I applied to be yeah, in, in my um, final year. So I was I'm in grade eleven right schooling. now. Yeah. So say if you did apply and got in, you would still be doing like BPS wow yeah. or you know animation or whatever during school, and that can be tough. I wouldn't approach animation at the very start as oh I got to make money or even necessarily that you've got to make it a job, just try it out as a hobby. If you I find definitely do agree with that. Apply to, then apply to it later on. Like, There's not really much of a rush, particularly yeah, if you're younger. You know, pursue a career eventually, but just start it off as a hobby. Do it on the side. Realistically, do your homework as well. <laughs> like, you know? Yes. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like... It should start off as a hobby and then maybe grow into into a career once you have the capability for it. Mm, yeah, like specific tips on animation can also be a little difficult, but like yeah, I mean, funny you say that depends. because I was making a tutorial of sorts. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, cool. that would be your advice to give to uh, new animators who are just starting out. I will take that into account because I might be. I have a studio now, like, I'm trying to start one, but I don't really have that much. Could you lend me some of your 35,000 subscribers? Thank you very much. Sure. <laughs> nah, I'm I mean, kidding. Like, going back to the previous question, actually, I didn't, <laughs> didn't quite get to finish, but, like, oh, what yeah, you sure, said go applies a lot to BPS. Like, I think when you first asked the question, I was thinking my, my personal channel in particular. Sure, you can take all of them. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I don't do a lot on my personal channel, so I definitely don't. Yeah, think I, I think I deserve those there. subs. I, I upload more often. Of course, yeah, I'm there kidding. you go. <laughs> all I get is the attention from the BPS channel. Fair enough. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, I definitely, there is probably sometimes a bit of that pressure to perform on BPC, sorry, BPS. And now that you, uh, and now that you mentioned that, um, I have another question. Do you ever feel like, um, you, you aren't recognized as you're like your own person and you're just recognized as a part of BPS? Is that ever a feeling you have? I think a bit, but I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a bad thing because you no, want to be no, it's not. BPS, to be part of BPS, like... I you, think it's great you that you're just able to create it. these things in the first place, like whatever studio yeah. you're a part of. Yeah, but at times probably, but I, I don't think of it's always a nice feeling to like that. have your own audience that's like separate and individual. But at the yeah. same time, you're definitely better off with BPS than without, because it did bring so you scary. like ninety percent of your subs anyway. More. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably an underestimation. Like and then I was like, oh. At least twenty nine k subs. Oh, yeah, god! The like... attention. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go rogue now. I'm gonna boost <laughs> my ego. No. Yeah. No. The BPS Civil War. 
<laughs> just Declaration oh. of Independence. The Mont 27P Independent State. I will join you on that. <laughs> just call me up. Okay. Sure, that's good. Yeah, so... Well... Um... So yeah, that's... That's definitely... That's yeah, definitely true, I guess. I guess sometimes you would have that feeling, but, you know, for the most part, you're definitely... You're probably, you're probably like, you're better off at BPS than not. Uh, would you say you're, like, pleased with where you're at right now? Mostly. Generally? The only... Yeah. I think this year should be a lot better year. I think I forgot to mention this before, but, like, with kind of David directing a few more things, again, not going into details. I know Starfall's like, coming up soon. Be... Yeah, but even just like as a way that the channel is managed, I think we're going to be doing things a lot more well organized. Actually, going to have more content come out well, this year. Yeah, yeah again, conveniently, I'm going to be year. doing my reaction stuff again. Um, so that's <laughs> going to be great. I'm going to have a yeah. lot of stuff to react to. It's going to be all on my second channel, just uh, promoting myself real casually, of course. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But there's so, still uh, negatives at, at times. Like, I, I don't well, know. Well, there if always will be. Yeah, there's always going to be some negative people. There's one negative community that, for some reason, thinks I'm the lead of BPS and <laughs> is taking them down for some reason, which is uh, a little <laughs> weird to spread that information, but okay. Me, when I purposefully spread misinformation on the internet. Mm, yes, I'm on to CEO and is um, leading BPS down for what? I'm not even CEO. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> not even CEO. David is the boss, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's still the boss. If you want to say yeah. who's the lead enemy, it's, it's, I guess, technically Sam, but... Sam and Thomas, I would say, for. they do the most stuff, I'd say. Relatively, yeah. Yeah. In terms of, like, who, like, who, like, has been there the longest, who has done, like, the most work, it would be between David, Sam, and Thomas, but then again, David hasn't, like, done anything since, like, Songs of War, so, I mean, it's mainly Sam and Thomas now. But yeah. it doesn't Sam, matter Sam's because... very knowledgeable in a lot of They're all things. incredibly talented people anyway, so it's not really worth <laughs> starting a competition. Bob's better. Oh, I don't know who ah. Bob is, but there is a Bob out there. Bob, he's the best animator. <laughs> yep. Now, um, new question. Are you a better Australian than Fade? <laughs> what is that question? Uh, no. This is very no. animation related. This is very animation very, related. It's very relevant very to the discussion. Related. Um, I have to know this. No? Okay. No, I'm gonna say no. That's true. Fade, fade, it's a cool guy. He is. I agree. So I'm friends with him. He can be a little loud, but I like that kind of personality. <laughs> like, he's more extroverted. He's a bit... Which I yeah. am not. He's I'm slightly not loud. loud. <laughs> I can be loud, Slight. too. But, uh... Yeah, fair enough. Generally not. At times. Yeah, no, I don't think we can rival Fate, so he's got that position. No, we can't. We can't. Maybe if we got Tommy in it on our side. That's true. I guess. Battle of the Ages. Oh no. Tommy vs. Fate. Oh, it would, just, it would just go on until the heat death of the universe. <laughs> it was just okay. an endless battle. Um, I honestly, I don't really have many questions left. I think we can finish this up pretty shortly, okay. so... um. Are there any final things you'd like to say before I end the recording? Mm, I mean, probably, but I forgot them as the questions kept going on, so um, maybe. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we'll stall for uh, time. There were a few times where we did go a little too quick, so I didn't get to quite finish, but that's okay. Um, oh god, like, I'm sorry, I man. I, I cool. didn't... No. Sometimes no, you're good. I can be like that, but, you know, if there's anything you do want to say that you forgot to say earlier or you didn't <laughs> get time to say... Now is definitely the time, because I've run out of questions to ask. And I've um, run out of things to remember until I don't know. Like, BPS oh, that's is quite, I like working at it, but... Yeah, decent um, company, 6 out be, of 10. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> so, thank you, at least it's better than a 5, so... Yeah. But this year should be a, a much better year, I'm hoping. more. more I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to um, all the stuff you have planned. Yeah. Yeah, very much. Uh, there's probably other things I'm going to say, but... um. I guess thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. it's no problem. Uh, thank you for thank you for agreeing. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna send you and... the link to this once it's out. I'm gonna like nice. do some editing and stuff and all that. I mean, the... like auto tune my voice. Just yeah. 
Okay, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sure, anyway. Well, um, cool. yeah, thanks for coming on. It's, it's been great. Um, been great talking to you. Um, thanks for answering my questions. Um, uh, sorry no if I uh, interrupted you at any time. Sometimes I can Not be too. like that. Sometimes I ramble on. But, you know, uh, thanks for putting up with me for, uh, <laughs> like, yeah. 50 or so minutes. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you. And uh, once again, thanks for thanks for coming on um, Animcast. That's what I'm calling this. So. Uh, oh yeah, cool. All, all right. right. Bye, everyone. All right, peace I guess. out. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, haha.